And now it's time for Southern California Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, rock cod Rick Maxa, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup, Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray and Rock Cod Rick Maxa. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. We're live at Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing. In San Diego, it is a beautiful morning here. The moon is shining, the stars are bright, the sun's coming up, and you should be down here because this is going to be a great day. We have a host of hosts here today uh, at our show. We have so many people to draw from today, and it's going to be the variety show on Let's Talk Hookup. So you stay tuned. Southern California's sport fishing voice is Let's Talk Hookup on the mighty 1090. Who's going to be more successful? The guy with a state-of-the-art fish finder and the latest sonar technology? Or the guy who wastes time looking for fish the old-fashioned way? Smart fishermen know how to embrace technology. And no one understands technology better than your San Diego County Ford dealer. The new F-150 is the only truck available with Pro Trailer Backup Assist. The most advanced, most efficient way to back a trailer ever. It's just one of many high-tech features you won't find on any other truck. Ford is also the only brand available with EcoBoost, a twin turbocharged engine that offers impressive fuel economy without sacrificing power. In other words, Ford trucks just flat out work smarter. So whether you're on the road or on the water, don't let technology pass you by. Come in now and get a clearance price on a new high-tech 2017 F-Series pickup. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer today, Ford. That's California smart. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. Saturday night. November 4th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. It's our largest sale ever. Plenty of seminars by saltwater experts, incredible deals on tackle, closeouts we've never offered before. Plus, over 20 tackle manufacturers like Penn. Check out the new Penn Fathom Lever Drag 2-Speed Reel with a full metal body and Dura Drag Washers. Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing will have unbelievable pricing on tackle, clothing, and accessories. There is also a huge raffle, best ever tackle bargains at Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday. Saturday, November 4th. Bluefin tuna are here, and now is the time to take advantage of this amazing bite. The hot jig last year and this season is the Shimano Butterfly Flat Fall Jig. It's a totally new concept of butterfly jigging, but deadly effective. Best part, it's very simple to fish, the Shimano Flat Fall. Drop the jig down to where the fish are holding, then crank it up 30 feet and then freeze spool. Or cast the jig and let it fall while in freeze spool. Wait for the bite, then put it in gear and wind. It's that easy. The Shimano Flat Fall is a center balance jig and falls with a wobbling action in a horizontal position, making it irresistible to big bluefin tuna. Hundreds of big fish have been caught on the flat fall, ranging in size from the 130 gram to the 250 gram. They're back in stock now at your local Shimano dealer. So get yours now and go catch a fish of a lifetime on the Shimano Butterfly Flat Fall Jig. See your local dealer or check Shimano.com for all the details. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. We're live at Tackle Days at Fisherman's Landing. Already off to an awesome start. Considering that the event, quote-unquote, doesn't start for another couple hours, I think this is going to be a pretty mega day. But as we always say, it starts right now with the kickoff of Let's Talk Hookup. Yeah. So it, it's on. Indeed. The store is open, so you can yeah. purchase things in the store at the same deals, yep. right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, and then the closeout deals are right across from us here in the parking lot. That starts at 9 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So once the boys get all the way done, which is usually right around 9, the ribbon gets cut off the outside booth and everybody can have it. That That's where, like, the craziness of the crazy is. But literally everything inside the shop is on sale, like Doug said, except for torpedo sinkers because he couldn't do everything. So, yeah. But, yeah, everything inside the shop is already on sale. Crazy deals, rods, reels, just everything. Like, it, it's wild. This is our for sure 
best blowout sale of the year. No question about it. It's the very craziest day that Doug gets wild. Yeah, and uh, the manufacturers are, are setting up right now. Yeah. How many manufacturers have you counted? I, I don't even know. 30-something for yeah. sure. I mean, it's a bunch of – I mean, virtually a, a who's who, anybody – in the saltwater arena is here. I mean, every major rod and reel and lure manufacturer is here displaying the best of the best. And this is such a cool event because it's not the craziness of a giant show, but everybody you could ever want to talk to is here in the booth. You know, if, you, if you're if you in the market for a new rod or a new reel, you can not only utilize the experts inside of Fisherman's Lining Tackle, but you can literally talk to the manufacturer. You can talk to a Steve Carson and get his opinion well, you of You mean it. this guy sitting right next to you? The best of the best Steve are here. Steve Carson? <laughs> What's going yeah. on? Considering this event doesn't officially start till 9 o'clock, I think it's happening now. <laughs> yeah, I yeah think it, right. it is happening now. All the manufacturers are set up, but there's a lot of people already here, and it's a, a beautiful morning. You know, there was that forecast of possible rain, but I don't see a cloud oh, in the sky. Blue sky, yeah. wide open. Today is going to be a rad day. That that lucky rabbit's foot in uh, in Rick's pocket has <laughs> paid <laughs> off. Actually, I think I think Rick bribed the San Diego Chamber of Commerce. Oh man, to, for one of their one of their special weather days that they keep in the bank just in case. We've yeah. got the whole rabbit. We we, yeah. we didn't want to take man. a chance with just the foot. We got the whole thing. Yeah, the, the weather looks beautiful. It's going to be a good one. Now, now, being the walking encyclopedia, like Ronnie used to say, what is the history of Tackle Day? Well, the history of Tackle Day is that way, way back before Rick was even thought of. <laughs> okay, uh, this was the weekend for Day at the Docks. It was a day. This that, was. Yeah, it was. It was. It was uh, a day that actually it converged that a couple of different long range boats were coming back from what were then 16 day trips. Right. They don't even do those anymore. Uh, there, were, there were two or three that were coming in at the same time, so it was going to be a spectacular catch, and everybody's going to get to see it. Everybody's going to get to tour the boats, et cetera, et cetera. And, and it all went great for a couple of years, and then for a couple of years they had, like two years in a row, they had rainouts. Uh-huh. And so they went, okay, we're going to have to move this. And they moved it to the current weekend that it is in, uh, in April and, um, and expanded it dramatically. And I love Day at the Docks. It's wonderful. But it's so much more than about fishing now. Yes. Uh, it's a waterfront festival, and, and, and it's wonderful being what it is. But deep in the back of Doug Kern's mind was always that, that, that more serious fishing group. Yeah. The people that, you know, I don't want to say they just fish, but they don't have time or money for anything else. So they yeah. just fish. Uh, they wanted something that was a little bit more just about them and not about cotton candy and face painting. And that they were going to willing to come out at this time of year and do it and think about it. Um, you know, maybe spend what money that they have before they start buying their Christmas gifts. And so, he, and I'm not sure it has. So this is what the seventh or eighth year that we've now done this. This is the 14th year of Are us you? redoing Tackle Day oh, again. I know, I crazy, right? Time, time no, passes, oh, doesn't it? We we all said the same thing. Like, is this nine? And we start going back. Yeah, number 14. Oh my god! How about well, that? Well, there you have it. But but that that's essentially it. Is that this yeah. was always a weekend about the serious, mainly long range fishing crowd and you know seeing a boat unload and if you're if you were just over there there was a very nice load of fish unloaded off the shogun yes and uh that's what this weekend's about and that's what this weekend is about again for 14 years i know it's pretty awesome and i'll tell you 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 have uh you just talk it you say it's a long range thing but it's it's more than that it kind of covers so many different things i mean i'm looking around i see Daiwa berkeley i see j pool right there with accurate and and uh, there's Corey Sander, MC, and Cousins guys, and of course friends of Rallo's here, and uh, I know Wayne from CCA's here. There's, uh, I mean, there's a, a lot of people here, right? If Ricky? it's, if it's, you know, we, we always say at Fisherman's Hunting Tackle, we are saltwater fishing. We don't do freshwater, we don't do bass, you know, we don't do trout, that kind of thing. But, but we do everything saltwater, whether that's surf fishing or long-range cows and everything in between. And that's what is here at Tackle Days. Everything that has to do with saltwater fishing. If you're a major manufacturer, you're here today. And 36 years ago, just the existence of long-range fishing was not nearly as well-known as it is now. Yes. It, it was sort of a local secret, a local phenomenon. Now, of course, it's, it's world-famous, thanks to Rick. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, so, so it's, a, it's a different time in the world, and that's fine. And, I, I'm, like I say, I'm thrilled that there's now two events, one giant event and one right size event which is this one yes uh going on right here yeah yeah it's pretty it's pretty cool so steve what's been going on in your world oh well i've been fishing a little bit i've been fishing uh just uh 
couple weeks ago got off the American Angler, and we did get to visit those those nice uh, Guadalupe uh, tuna. And then uh, in each previous month before that, I was on the, the Searcher and then on the Vagabond. And then next month, I'll be back on the Shogun. So wow. just sort of a, a that and, uh, and answering lots and lots of uh, questions on Penn's Facebook page and on uh, various saltwater fishing forums that, uh, you know, that, are, that are the modern, modern phenomenon of our fishing community. It used to be, kind of missed that too, that if you want to know what was going on, you had to come right down, right down here, right behind me, sit on one of those benches all day. And as people walked by, it, uh, it was it was the fishing equivalent of a, of a Parisian cafe. If you, <laughs> if you sit there long enough, everybody in that world will walk by eventually. Yeah. And so now it's, it's a, still a kind bit. of a cool thing to do, though. Oh, are I you mean, kidding? you don't, you don't miss cool, that personal in, in, interaction with it's people the just being down here. Thing. I mean, you're just sitting, you're sitting there, maybe having a having a nice crab sandwich from uh, from Point Loma Seafood. Exactly. And without an entourage, you know, without without a bunch of hangers on, who's cruising by? There's Frank Lepresti. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, it happens every day. Every single day. It's yeah. just this is a pretty special, magical place. And there's some magical things going on on the stage here today at Tackle Day, right, Rick? Yeah, that's one of the other things. You know, I mean, obviously, it's about the sale. It's craziness. We, we definitely have our best deals of the year. But Tackle Days is so much more than that. It's just a fun fishing day to come down and hang out and, and go to Point Loma Seafoods or get, get food. But one of the biggest draws that we have here is the seminars that go on throughout the day. So we basically, all throughout the day, there is some kind of rad fishing seminar that's going on. There's always uh, three, there's always four going on at all times. And uh, basically it works like this. We have one stage in the parking lot around the building that's got about 150 chairs at it. And then in addition to that, we have three of our great boats at Fisherman's Landing um, that all host seminars, which would be the Pegasus, the Prowler, and the Condor. And throughout the day at three different times, so at 9.30 and then again at 12.15 and then again at 1.45, there will be a seminar going on during all those boats. And they are just Again, just like Fisherman's Landing and just like our celebration of saltwater fishing, they are literally everything from, you know, at 9.30 kicking off on the main stage, Bill Cavanaugh, fresh off the first true long-range trip of the year with great tuna fishing and great wild fishing, is going to be doing a long-range seminar. Um, Bobby Martinez, who's an owner of Hooks Pro Staff, the SWB Angler of the Year, he's going to be talking about Calico Bass. Wow. Steve Carson's going to be on the Prowler. Uh, we've got a couple of pros, uh, Thomas and Stan, who are Cousins Tackle Pro Staff guys, going to be talking about small boat tuna fishing, skiff, things like that. And, um, and that's just at 930. So all throughout the day, there's really good seminars that you can just find everything you want at. Uh, the seminar schedule's on our website. It's also printed everywhere. There's a bunch of flyers inside. A really, really cool one. There's a guy that is maybe lesser known to the public unless you're really involved with their social media, Billy Kelman. And Billy is a fantastic bluefin guy. I mean, he just got that whole yummy flyer thing figured out. And one of the nicest guys around, 100%, not a paid gig, not a pro staff guy. He's just as good at fishing that giant bluefin tuna with the yummy flyer as it gets. I think he's got 50 of those giant tuna this year all on the yummy flyer and he does it from a boat that most of us can obtain he's got a 23 foot parker not some crazy giant yacht and he just fishes his butt off and he's going to be giving the entire thing laying it out kites yummies how you troll it how you fish it so it's stuff like that that goes on all throughout tackle days from bass to big tuna Crazy good seminars. It's just a rad, rad and, day. And speaking of Parkers, uh, Kevin Kelly from West Coast Marine is here with not only a Parker in the parking lot here, but we've got your boat here. Yes. In the water. Doug's boat here. Uh, we've got Brandon Nick, Hayward's boat here, yep. right? Nick Boone uh, has a – so I think we have just about all the 25 represented. I know I have a 25 center console that's in the water, and uh, Nick Boone's got the 25 pilot house. There's a 23-foot uh, center console with Doug's boat. Brandon Hayward, I don't know if he's back from his trip yet because I know he's fishing, but he's got the 23 pilot house. There's a beautiful 21 center console in the parking lot. So this is Parker Central. I think four or five of the guys who work in the shop, we all have Parkers of different makes, and so we all brought ours over just to yeah. show them off. And it's just going to be – like I said, it's just a – celebration of a rad fishing day to come yeah. hang out and buy some gear, learn some great stuff. And yeah. then there's the raffle. I oh, mean, the, the raffle's unbelievable. I know that I, I, you know, Charlie and John over at Pizza Nova presented $400 of the gift certificates to me yesterday to hand off to you, and all the money goes to Friends of Rollo. Yep, yeah, I think... In Rollo, Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea. I would love to Whatever do you want to call it, just <laughs> donate money. Yeah, just give them money. <laughs> I think in total we'll probably have somewhere between eight and $10,000 worth of stuff to raffle off just today. I mean... 
crazy amounts of gift certificates for everything. Every cool place to eat or drink down here gave us a bunch of gift certificates. I mean, how about Pizza Nova, four hundred dollars yeah. worth of gift cards to that. Um, Mitch's and Point Loma Seafoods and everybody else, but bunch of certificates. But but the trips and things are what's crazy. Two hundred dollar gift certificate to the Royal Polaris. Two hundred dollar gift certificate to the Shogun. The Searcher gave us a four hundred and ninety five dollar value day and a half trip. I mean, somebody's gonna get a, a day wow. and a half trip on the Searcher. We've got a brand new pair of Baker Marine binoculars that we're giving away. And it's like a five hundred dollar pair of bucks. binoculars. I mean, it's just it, it's it's an on and on and on bait certificates. And then the cool thing too is every single vendor that you see here. Also donates a prize because it's going to a rad cause. It's going to the money goes to friends of Rollo or Captain uh, Captain Rollo's and uh, and it and it sends kids fishing and so it's a really cool event. It raises a bunch of money and uh, it's just a fun time and and everybody that participates that uh, that wins is going to win some rad prize. Let, 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 let me interject about the yeah. uh, the Captain Rollo's kids. If you wonder where your money is going, uh, it goes just like Rick says to take kids fishing. I, I full disclosure. I uh, I run a big, I'm not the only person that runs it, I'm on the committee that runs probably the largest single-day children's fishing event in the USA, uh, Hooked on Fishing, Not on Drugs, up north, and Captain Rollo's Kids is very, a very, very good sponsor of that event. Um, you know, we're grateful for their support every year, and depending on the weather, we'll have anywhere from 1,800 to 4,000 kids in a one-day wow. event. Wow. To, catching catfish, we're not out there catching tuna or even bonita, but you know what? When you get those little ones, and we actually have one area where we've got kids' wading pools, you know, those little you know, 12-foot across wading pools filled with water. We've got little, little lift poles, and the, the volunteers pre-hook the catfish, and that's for the one- to four-year-olds. Nice. Where literally, the grandmas just wheel the kids in in their strollers. They hand them a rod. They lift up. They Come lift on. up the rod. The, the catfish is already hooked on oh, there. Oh wow! The cameras roll. Most of the time, the parents don't even want the fish when they've got a three-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> the fish goes back in the water, and then you know the next one rolls up. I wow. mean, so there's events Get like them that. Get started early. Events like that all over that Captain Rollo's kids that, basically that make that them money possible. that you donate yeah, it's goes, goes to. Yeah. And and I might add, how do you get tickets? So how do you get in that raffle, and how's it all going to work today? Yep, so super easy. You just come on down right outside of the door at Fisherman's Landing, right in the center. You'll see a giant uh, Friends of Rollo uh, canopy where um, uh, Tim Baker and Mike Lum are going to be doing the pick-a-box. So in addition to that booth, and then right next door, you will see the big raffle drum. There's going to be a bunch of girls out here selling raffle tickets. My sister in Dallas and a bunch of great friends are going to be out here selling raffle tickets. And you're literally just show on up and buy your raffle tickets. They're a buck a piece. You can get six of them for five dollars, or the best deal you get uh, 25 of them for 20 bucks. And just show on up, and and that's it. And then all and you the do. And the drawing goes on through the day. They go out throughout the day. So as you heard, we have three rounds of seminars. At the end of each one of those seminars, we all gather back up here and we raffle off a handful of things. We do another round of seminars. After that one, we raffle off another handful of things. And then after the last one, we raffle off everything that's left. So you do have to be present to win and just show up. We'll, we'll always make sure that we give away good stuff in between, the, in between the seminars. And then a bonus that we didn't talk about is every person who attends one of the seminars on the boats gets a free raffle ticket. And we always make sure to raffle off some killer prize with that. So it's totally free just for coming down, hanging out at a rad event, getting some good information, eating some good food. You get a free raffle ticket that could be worth a $500 day-and-a-half trip. Wow, fantastic. And well, I, I always appreciate it when Rick comes down and tell, and gives me the hook sign. <laughs> and tells me I'm running too long because everybody's got to go up for the raffle drawing. So, yeah. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show uh, going on today. And let's go live down to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico right now. Mr. Pat McDonald is is uh, from the Western Outdoor News, Los Cabos Tuna Jackpot Tournament. Good morning, Pat. How's it going? Hey, morning, Great. Pat. How, how's your voice today? Yeah, how you holding up, oh, buddy? It's a, it's a little gravelly, but I handed the microphone off to some other people, uh, so I'm, yeah. I think I'm okay. Pat, <laughs> boy. All right, so what happened? Well, let's see. Let's just go over the basics. It was really, it was incredible. I got to say, it's just um, the best fishing in the history of the tournament. There's no, no, there's no question about it. And I'll go. I'll give you a couple of quick facts, and you can just ask me some questions. But we had um, just the basic staff, 147 teams, uh, 517 anglers. We had uh, uh, nine teams, one uh, shared $677,000. And um, Jeez. The, uh, the winning fish was a 328-pounder by North Star. They were the 2012 winner. <laughs> they had wow. a 325-pound tuna the first day, the very, the very first weigh-in. That's a good start. So they, uh, <laughs> So they locked up $252,000 because they won uh, four the first uh, 
five optionals and then uh, two the optionals and then another team um, won overtime won the, the last one. Now, what's kind of cool is that Mark Rayer on the Vicara out of the East Cape, he bought three boats. Uh, he won um, $132,000 by winning the first, that second, to, uh, uh, the second first, the second day first four optionals. So he, wow. uh, he, yeah, he kicked some ass with a 239, um, a 239 uh, yesterday. So, nice. fishing. so he, Mark was pretty thrilled. He's always yeah. on the cusp of winning this thing. So, and winning big money. He finished third last year. So Mark, great guy, great, just a great bunch of people. You but, bet. Um, let Diego, me his crew member, is, is an awesome deckhand there that uh, fishes with Mark, and Diego's a Diego's yeah, a man when it comes he's to that. Yeah, he and just, uh, you know, Mark, I fish with him. He's just unbelievable. And he's a hell of a fisherman. He's a hell of a fisherman. Yeah. Um, so, so he, you know, what were most we of the fish caught on? Where were they? The where were the fish caught? Pat? Oh God, you know, chunk. I think a lot were chunk. Uh, I think um, there was. Um, I know that the the winning team, the North Star, uh, my friend Victor Lachlan, he was on a Constitution with me. Uh, he fished on a Constitution like three times. He used balloons and chunk uh, because they didn't have any life bait, and so they uh, after ten minutes of using a balloon, uh, they got slammed by a, a three hundred twenty five pounder. Wow. So um, that was on. I believe that's on the Gordo. I'm not actually not sure. You was a little secretive about it the first day because they don't want to divulge where they were. And I promised to play with the <laughs> until then. Yeah. So, so nine teams won money last year. It was five, and I was. I would like to have the money spread out a little bit. So yeah. what was really cool? It were okay. And there were 14 fish over 200 pounds and two over Whoa. 300. We actually had two 300 Whoa. pounders um, the first day. Get this though. This is amazing. Two fish did not make it in on time, and they were both 300-pounders. But we weighed them in anyhow, and we gave them both hard luck awards to a free entry into the next year. They, one guy oh, that's cool. Fish. Look, one team had it on for nine hours oh, at the Gordo. Oh, no way. Oh. They missed it by a half an hour. They got it in. The, the reels, the reels, rod shattered. It died. The fish died. They, they tried to slowly yank it up, and another team just just barely missed it by two minutes, and I had I couldn't weigh it. I, I weighed it, but I, I couldn't allow it. So yeah, um, that's four fish over 300 pounds, <clears throat> 14 fish over 200. That's unbelievable. What a, what a that's so well, cool. Congratulations, Pat. Yeah. Pat. Now now you're okay. retired. Do you get to go have a margarita now? No, nah, I got to do the awards. We got 800 people over at the uh, the pier. Uh, we got a yeah, we got the full the full gala event tonight. Mm-hmm. So I'm planning that. Got to get everything squared away for that. I got you, you, one more thing. This is really crazy. At the end of the thing, you always you don't you don't like controversy or, or weird decisions. But we had uh, two teams, Real <clears throat> Real Quest and Sneak Attack. They were both going after the last two um, the last two optionals, uh, the, the thousand and the ten thousand. There was one hundred and eighteen thousand dollars in those two. Well, Sneak Attack came in with a one ninety five earlier, and that Real Quest was the last official boat to weigh in. They had exact same size fish. So I said, well, oh, no I, way. in that case, you got to flip a coin. And wow. I, the guys decided, can we can we ask them if they want to split the money? So they split the money and they both walked away with $59,000. So, <laughs> oh, uh, that's a cool story. Nice. That's very so, good. Yeah, of course. On our, yeah, we did a lot of Facebook posts. If people want to go to the Western Outdoor News, uh, Western Outdoor News website, but the, but they can also go to the Facebook page and look at the, look at the photos and the video. It was very exciting. We had uh, we had just a, it was really just an incredible tournament. I mean, it was uh, wow. unbelievable. I, I don't know if, it, if I'm going to do it again, but. Uh, <laughs> well, it may be in 364 days, right? I think I've lost about 15 pounds down here. It's crazy. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, have, I, have, I have had a few shots of tequila, I will tell you that, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah for sure. Well, yeah. Pat McDonald but, yeah. from the Los Cabos Tuna Jackpot Tournament, live from Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Congratulations. Huge success on the tournament. And we appreciate you checking in with us this morning and letting us well, know what only, happened. Well, you guys, you're the only ones I'm checking in with. i got no more voice left. So I uh, appreciate <laughs> all the support. <clears throat> Great job, all Pat. The support over the years. Talk to you guys yeah, later. Right. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks, Pat. Appreciate the call this morning. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show for you live at Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing right now. You are not kidding, bro. And there is so much good stuff going on today. We want to see you come down here. Come on down to Tackle Days. It's easy to find at Fisherman's Landing right in San Diego. Going to be a beautiful day. And, man, do we have some cool prizes for you today. Every person that steps up to the microphone and asks a question today is going to be eligible to win a brand-new pair of Maui Gym sunglasses. It's the Surf Rider. 
Rider, which is a great. Love that. Yeah, yeah. I know. I think that's yeah. your favorite frame, one the Surf favorites. Rider. Yeah. It's a really, really cool pair of Maui gems. This one is a black frame with a brand new blue Hawaii lens. Um, or excuse me, oh, it's, actually, a, it's no. a black and blue frame. Excuse me, with the neutral gray lens. So yeah, yeah cool, cool pair of Surf Rider, black and blue frame, n- uh, neutral gray lens, and that super thin glass material the Maui gem is so famous for. So somebody's gonna get that for stepping up to the microphone and asking a question. If you want to ask a question, just talk to the cowboy or talk to Tommy P. Let him know that you want to ask a question. Now, Maui gyms are in the store. They're on sale. Uh, Maui gyms are, I believe they are, you get like a special gift or something like that okay. on Maui gyms. I'll find out special exactly deal. what it is before, right. uh, before it goes on there. So, but yeah, the great selection of Maui gym. Two cases now. We upped it from a uh, one display of Maui gyms to two because we just couldn't hold enough. Even in the biggest display case they had, it wasn't enough. So we opted for another, another, another case. case. So, yeah. So yeah. lots of Maui gyms to choose from inside the store and again that's for stepping up to the microphone and we certainly haven't forgot about you that's calling us on the phones this morning if you want to get through give us a call and let's talk hook up there's two ways you can reach us first is with our local line that's 858 area code 457 1090 again 858 457 1090 that's our local number or you can reach us toll free that toll free line is 877 792 1090 one more time 877 877- 792 1090. Not only are we talking fishing, talking fun, we are giving away a great prize to our callers, and that's a three quarter day trip to go fishing on board the Liberty right out back at Fisherman's Landing here. Somebody's going to get to go fishing on that beautiful boat with Taro and the crew. Again, a three quarter day on the Liberty on the phones, and again, if you want to get that, 858. 858- Four five seven ten ninety or eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. And when we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls. Lots of great info coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty Ten Ninety. This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Long Range Vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the long range fishing experience. A spring 8 day, summer 5 day, or a fly down, fly back 11 day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality long range voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top of the line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4764. Talk about great equipment from Shimano. Let's just talk about what's going on today at Tackle Day at, at Fisherman's Landing uh, Tackle Day here. Come on in and uh, check out the Shimano booth at Tackle Day because they have some amazing product over there. What are you looking at over there? Shimano and Power Pro is set up right now doing demonstrations. They'll show you connections with all that great Power Pro. You hear us talking about hollow ace and things like that. You want to find out about it? It's going on here. And then you want to talk about the sale. As you know... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Shimano doesn't go on sale. Hey, but not, for Tackle Day today, I heard they do. I'm not saying anything. You're not saying anything. But you'd be crazy if you needed to buy something for Shimano and you weren't here like today. Like a Tranks? Like anything. Or like a Talica? Like, come on down. Or like down. a Trinidad A? Come on down. Therese Rail Railrod for get, the Shogun trip? Get hooked Steve up. Steve Pazel? Exactly. <laughs> get, get hooked up on everything that is Shimano because it's going on one day only from 9 until 3 that's it. That's the only time you're going to get deals like this on all of this great gear. And the cool thing is you can go over, see the guys at the Shimano booth, talk to them about the product, and then exactly. buy the correct product today at Tackle Days. Check them out, the Shimano booth at the Fisherman's Landing. Tackle Days going on right now. Saturday, November 4th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Our largest sale ever. Seminars by saltwater experts, incredible deals on tackle. Over 20 tackle manufacturers like Shimano with great products like Talica, Tranks, Trinidad A, and Terramar. Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 4th. Check saltwatertackle.com. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. Ranch is small, you know. It's very personal, very intimate. I don't think there's anywhere else that you could have the old Baja feel and have all the miles of beachfront, the palapa roofs and the stone walls. There's not a room that you don't have some kind of ocean view. You don't give up any amenities at the ranch. It's just very rustic. You know how when you cook outdoors it tastes better? Well, that's Rancho Lay now. It just tastes better. We have paddle boards. We've got kayaks. We've got snorkeling equipment, of course. We've got 12 super pockets. We have dive trips. We've got over 40 kayaks at the hotel. We've got all accurate equipment, very top of the line. And um, when the fishing's good, we'll freeze your fish, pack it all up, send it home with you. People love it. They'll come back five, six times a year. 
That's the highest accolade we can get. 1-800-646-2252. 646-AHA. And RanchoLandAero.com. It's unique. Sport fishing, not just for dad anymore. At Dana Wharf Sport Fishing, kids fish free every Sunday. Free half-day fishing trip and clinic free for kids 12 and under every Sunday at Dana Wharf. Join the Dana Wharf Kids Club and get over $100 of really cool stuff like two free fishing trips, a free whale watch trip, and more. Dana Wharf, everyone's favorite since 1971. Click DanaWharf.com or visit them in the Dana Point Harbor, the vast capital of the West, and only minutes from the 5 Freeway in Orange County. DanaWharf.com, where kids fish free. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Again, we're live here at Tackle Days at Fisherman's Landing. Day shaping up to be a great thing. The boys have got the outside booth standing by, and we always laugh. There's a, a, a tape of ribbon that's up blocking entry into the crazy deal at the Fisherman's Landing booth. Typically, it gets set up right around 9 o'clock, sometimes even a little bit before that. But uh, I know a lot of guys over there eyeballing all the great deals uh, behind the ribbon. But as Pete said, the tackle shop's open. So oh, oh, I just went through there. That's crazy, It's huh? like wild in there. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is. I mean, I know that people say it all the time, and you probably, you know, will hear, think about, oh, yeah, I'm just talking about their shield. This is... This is like a mega thing that we only get to do one time of year. It's two day for a couple hours. That's it. It's it's wild. Yep, it's, it is it's time. The... Come on down here. Hey, um, I want to tell you about a pretty phenomenal thing if you haven't figured it out already because a lot of people already have. The Royal Star is going to be doing two four-day fly-down, fly-back trips out of Mazatlan, Mexico next May. Dude, I cannot wait oh, for that. Ricky's going to go on one. I'm going to go on one. And you should go on one. Now, the first... The second one is already full. I know. On, 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 it, it, before they, hardly before it even started. We talked about it on the show with Captain Tim Ekstrom a, 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 about a month ago or a month yeah, and a half Yeah, probably a month ago. And we said, here's what I'm working on. I'm trying to put it together. If you're interested, call the Royal Star office, get on the list. Well, a lot of people got on the list <laughs> because it filled up. For, once they set it down, which was about a week or two ago, yeah. um, the, first, uh, the second one, the 514 trip, is full. Now, there are... A few spots, not many spots left on the 510 trip, the May 10th trip. Uh, so you'd fly down to Mazatlan, and easiest way is either out of LAX on Alaska or out of the uh, cross-border express yeah, out of Tijuana. That's really easy. Yeah, and cheap. You could fly down in the morning, get on the boat in the afternoon. The boat comes back at 8 a.m. Four days later, you could fly back that afternoon and, and basically only be gone for four or five days. You can you And can go fish giant tuna down in that area. On a long range boat. And I might add too, Mazatlan is closer to the Marias yes. than Puerto Vallarta. Yep. So you're several, I don't, I don't know, 20, 25, 30, 40 miles closer to the upper end of the Marias there, which is where a lot of that whole, uh, the buffer zone around there is where a lot of those guys are fishing. That's exactly it. And now you're going to get the comfort, the food, the things that you're used to fishing big tuna, but able to do it without missing all that time from work. The the fish handling, the fish, you know, capability, yep. the, the platform of the Royal Star. Everything about Dude, it. Dude, this is going to be such a cool and trip. if you want to stay over, the El Cid that's going to be leaving from the El Cid right there, walk out the door and get on the boat, get your hotel room. It's it's a it's a perfect match. How about line up with the El Cid, maybe fish a day at El Salto, yeah. and then uh, go there down, go. do a long-range trip for yeah. a couple of days? I like that idea. Yeah. I like what you're thinking. So if you want to go with us next year, you better go call in a hurry to the Royal Star office, and, or get online. The easiest thing to do is get on the line right now totally. and book a trip online because I can pretty much promise you if it's not already, it's going to be sold out the, in, a, in, in not too much further. You, you nailed it. The problem is there's only so many spots, and they're only doing the true trips this year, and they, they the second that the announcement was made, almost all the spots went away. It's, it's basically your opportunity to do a long-range trip, Fish for two to three hundred pound tuna, but not miss a full week's worth of work. Yeah, it's pretty awesome for sure. Hey, okay, tackle day, Fisherman's Landing. John from Los Alamitos was here early. Come on up, John. What's up, John? Thanks for coming down, buddy. Good morning, everybody. Uh, what a great show this is, and uh, I'm happy to be here. And my uh, question is, uh, they're catching so many bluefin, yeah. you don't need to go on a long range trip. You can just go to San Clemente yeah. Island. That's the truth, buddy. It's pretty amazing fishing going on. Really good. 
All right. That, that was my uh, question. All Very right. good. Thanks for coming down to Tackle Day. I'll bet you're waiting for those doors to open, so uh, or the gate to drop. The doors are already open. Yeah, doors the are open. Gate, gate to drop. Speaking Ron, of, I say, speaking of those big bluefins, we had poor Dale behind the counter. Big rig- sale, Dale. Big sale, Dale, rigging his butt off for weeks. So the yummy flyer for catching those big bluefins, which 100% never do we put on sale because the, the the real deal with the yummy flyer that's rigged appropriately for catching bluefin. All the money is in the labor and rigging. You know, the yeah. jig's only 20 bucks, but it's the labor and, you know, I mean, you're putting $15 worth of hooks and, you know, and, and sinker and swivel and everything, and it's really the labor and time. But we had Dale rig an entire wall full of yummy flyers, professionally rigged the way that it's done right at Fisherman's Landing, and put them on sale for tackle day. You can see a, there's a wall of them uh, being set up in the outside wow. booth. we got another wall inside the shop. So if a guy wants you to go want catch yummy. his big one, it's it's on and, and on sale today. Wow, that's pretty good. Ron and Sam Marcos. Uh, uh, Ron, are you around? There he is. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. hey good morning. Good morning, Ron. Yeah. Um, I got more of a fishing report. To, uh, five of us, you know, I'm an Oceanside senior angler. and uh, With the cowboy. Yeah, with the cowboy. Yeah, there you go. Uh, five of us got together and went down. Uh, I do mostly sit-down fishing. And uh, we flew down to New Orleans and uh, hopped a ride down 75 miles south. To fish a little uh, spot on the Mississippi River in Venice, Louisiana, on 24-foot Skeeters. Really? 300 wow. horsepower Yamaha outboards to fish redfish and uh, what they call trout, which are speckled. They call them speckled trout. They're nice. Weak, weak fish. Nice. And uh, we, we caught the weather a little bit, uh, little bit windy. So the the fishing wasn't all that great the first two days, but the last day, we hit hit the hit the, uh, the weak fish really hard, and uh, we limited out. It was was a great fish for guys that have to do sit down fishing like I do. So. Very nice. Anyway, well, that well, was thanks it. for coming down and the good report there. Appreciate yeah, that very go, much, Ron. All right, hey Buzz is here. Good morning, Buzz. What's up, Buzz. Hey and what's going on on the prowler right now? There's, there's big happenings, right? Well, right now we're just kind of waiting to see what goes on as the as the year progresses. But boy, there's certainly some tuna around. There, right? there are, huh? There are still a big bluefin, big yellowfin. Yeah, where did that come from? How about that? Know, right? up, up around Clemente in that area there. It, it, it's something pretty unreal. But you know, just something that I've been thinking about. That uh, you talk about big tuna that are here locally, and in the last two or three years, we've been catching. Bigger fish than we've ever caught before, and I think that has to do with two things, one of which is kind of being highlighted here today, which is the improvement in tackle. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got lightweight tackle that is capable of fishing 100-pound line that we never dreamed of. Unreal. It's like you can fish what what I'm calling a, a... Jigmaster on Junior on steroids on the yeah. pin fathom. Yeah, 25, uh, 25 narrow. <laughs> narrow. I mean, lit, there are guys that have caught 100 pound bluefin on a surface iron with that tackle. On the wow. somewhat regular. I mean, it, it, that, and then that's a reel that's under 300 bucks. Oh, yeah. That, the, and, and there's, you know, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy the gear changes between Spectra and small two speeds and what we're able to do now. It's just a whole different deal. It's nuts. And, and, yeah. and it, it, it's allowed a lot of these bigger fish to be caught that wouldn't have ever happened before. Yeah, pretty pretty cool there. And speaking of uh, of s- big fish on small boats, uh, Kevin Kelly's here from with Lucy from w- West Coast Marine, and uh, uh, you have a whole bunch of Parkers around, don't you, Kevin? Yeah. Um, <laughs> caught you by surprise there. We'll fit that <laughs> microphone around. Got one on the lot, and uh, there's three or four in the... Uh, in the water in front here. That's what, you know, it was an easy thing for us. We're, we're all, we, we lined our parkers up right behind the prowler. I mean, when we heard Kevin Kelly was bringing a boat down, well, I said, well, we'll make it easy on him. We know where you can get three or four That's more right. of those things, so we'll just bring ours. They're all right yeah. next to the prowler, right, Buzz? Yeah, they're right behind the boat. In fact, Rick, the tide went out so far last night just before uh, dark. Rick was down there making sure everything still had water. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, they were, they were all uh, tied up nice and neat. Yeah. Yeah, so there's what, uh, uh, Ricky's 25 center console, and there's uh, Doug's 23 center console, and then uh, Nick newly detailed by Monsoon Marina. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Nick Boone bought the Boone tank down. Yeah, the Boone tank's down. It's 2520 loaded to the hilt with a tower and 
Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think you could screw or glue more parts and pieces <laughs> to a 25 Parker Pilot House than that, than that boat. It is fantastic. It, yeah. It has everything known to man on it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It everything. Really and I think there's um, another 2320 light blue one coming. Nice. Uh, Bob right. Woodard's boat is supposed oh. to show up. Oh, so yeah. yeah. People come down and they can go aboard. Four or five different models of Parkers. And, and what's wow. cool about that is you can see how guys have set them up to fish with. You know, I mean, the, the beauty of buying a boat from Kevin at West Coast Marine is they are, I mean, Kevin's a fisherman and knows knows how to rig it up. But, you know, you see, you most commonly see the, the blank canvas and get to paint your picture on it. Well, this is a cool way to see boats that have, you know, been fishing for a year or two or, in Doug's case, several years and see how, you know, things get added and changed. and How they know, wear. Yeah, totally. And, and just, you know, exactly. I mean, our boat's, you know, got 1,500 hours on it. And you'll see what a boat looks like after that amount of time. And it still looks just like the boat's in the parking lot. I mean, it, it's a really cool opportunity way to see the, you know, how you could kind of put those things together. And yeah. they're still working on it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Always. Still work in progress. So this one you have in the parking lot, Kevin, what's that? This is a 21 uh, Deep V center console. Okay. Um, for a 21-foot boat, this thing is big. Yeah, um, yes. it's it's. I used to half, have one. That's a great boat. Eight and a half foot beam, and it's just it's just massive. Yeah. So and it, it has a two hundred. It has stroke. it has a two hundred four stroke. This is the biggest power I can put on it. Cool. Um, so and it has a nice t top and really nice seats on it. Um, and it's it's, a, it's for sale. It's for sale. Um, <laughs> yeah, special special uh, price for the uh, for the show here. Um, the only one I wasn't able to bring, and I really wanted to, was that new 2320 that Parker has come out with. I've got them on order. They just didn't land yet. But the new thing for that is they have an open transom now. Really? Uh, a walk-through transom, uh, like a tuna door. No uh, kidding. On the 23, just like they've had on the 25 for a couple of years now. Uh-huh. So it's a lot easier access to the um, swim step. Uh, walk and fish around the back end, bringing those big tuna in through that tuna door. Which you wouldn't have thought you needed a tuna door from a 23-foot parker, but, but, you, but you attend Billy's seminar, and he's going to show you exactly how nice it is to have a door to drag 200-pounders through. <laughs> Who would have ever thought it locally? But, I mean, it, it's almost, a, you know, a very nice yeah. necessity. I've seen, totally. I've seen it coming through your door, pictures of it <laughs> yeah. Yeah. coming through Ricky's door. It's very it's handy. That's uh-huh. our favorite picture to send yeah. to Kevin. Hey, we yeah. got another one, and we always send him a picture of the door opened up and a 200-pounder getting drug, drugged through it. That's a good picture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. totally. Awesome. Hey, uh, Mike from Chula Vista is here. Oh, you know what? Before we get, come on up, Mike, and uh, let's find out what's biting down in the Baja. Yeah, while we're waiting for that, we got the cast man standing by. Good morning, cast man. Hey, Ricky, Pedro, man, you guys are having a good time. I was trying, trying hard to get down there this morning, but I've got that uh, Wahoo Rumble coming up, and I'm leaving Wednesday for Leonero for a couple of nights before I get down to San Jose del Cabo with the group. But I just got too much stuff to do to get ready, and I, I just couldn't make it. But I was looking forward to it. And those specials you're running, Ricky, I wanted to be there for them. Yes, man, it's all good, buddy. We are we miss your presence, but yeah, it's a it's a mega one. We're excited. All right, man. Well, listen, we'll make this quick. Fishing is outstanding, especially in the East Cape and the San Jose del Cabo and Cabo area. Uh, the tuna are in. Yeah, you, know, you, you know the big tuna. And as you hear Pat McDonald talking about the big fish uh, there for the tuna tournament. But uh, they're there. Uh, inside the uh, Intergordo Bank there, they're doing very well on, you know, fish over 300 pounds. Uh, up in the Sea of Cortez there at the Iman, same thing there. They're getting fish up to 100, 150 pounds just drifting along the banks there. Uh, really good news from uh, Eric Brixton of Gordo, Gordo Banks Tongas. I got a, <coughs> excuse me, a, re, a report from him yesterday. yesterday. And uh, the Wahoo are in. Uh, still not big numbers, but uh, they had about 40 the other day. And uh, the biggest was about 45 pounds. Um, Mazatlan doing well. The sales are starting to come in there. They're also getting some tuna dorado. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Having a little problem with the throat this morning. And um, favorite surfing spot there, Zihuantanejo, Ixtapa. Uh, there again, blue water right up to the beach. Uh, sales. Uh, guys traveling 30, 40 miles out are getting into tuna and marlin and uh, dorado. So there's some really good fishing going on in those Mexican waters, and uh, I'm going to try to get you guys a live report on Saturday if I got cell service uh, next week. Um, that'll be the first day of the Wahoo Rumble. We have 55 clients on that particular trip, so it should be a lot of fun. 
and we got some great prizes and awards to give away to the winners. But anyway, that's the report, guys. Talk to you guys next week, hopefully. Thanks, Cass, man. Great job, great report, and uh, we appreciate it. We're definitely going to miss you down here, but we appreciate it. Great report, and nothing like Cass Tours saying you fishing in the best spots in Baja. No doubt about it. Thanks, Cass, man. Good luck on the trip. Yeah, I'll let you guys know. Take care. See you, Cass, man. Very good. All right, Mike, uh, what's up? Thanks for coming down to Tackle Day. How are you guys doing? Morning, Mike. Hey, hey, uh, bluefin. All right. Uh, I love catching bluefin. Uh, I've been up, I've been out of this area for about two years. I've been up north. So I'm trying to get back into it again. And I was listening to your show last week or the week before, and you guys were talking. Somebody uh, fishes a lot of bluefin from small skiffs, big bluefin. And they're supposed to be here today. Mm-hmm. Is, this, is this the case? You got it, yeah. Um, we have Billy Kelman, who is a private boat bluefin expert, and he's going to be on the main stage at 1215. But, again, so that, that is going to be a seminar dedicated just to catching big bluefin out of a small boat, you know, kite, yummy flyer, flat fall, all those things. So that, that will be just on that. But with that, on the Condor, we've got Thomas and Stan that are going to be talking about fishing, fishing tuna in general from a small boat, casting mega baits and things like that. And, but in, in addition to those things, you've got, you know, at Tackle Days, guys like Buzz and, you know, and the boats available and all of these pros that you get to talk to. So, I mean, it, it, everything is here in one day. But, yes, lots of, lots of guys, go, you know, that are true experts going over tuna fishing, especially Big Bluefin this year. Buzz, uh, how does it differ fishing that Big Bluefin from uh, the Prowler, say, uh, or like a small boat like a Parker? Which, which I would say is the perfect guy to ask because when Buzz is not running the prowler, yeah, he spends a lot Parker, of time yeah. fishing. So yeah. you really are talking to the right guy. And a lot of that's on Parker's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the main difference is we've got more people, so we've got to make our techniques a little different. Like some of the guys that are, are just, you know, the hottest thing going on the Parker's spend their whole day trolling the yummies. And that's great. And they catch giant fish and maybe, you know. And that's perfect for them. For us, we need to f- have techniques that work for m- more people more right. of the time. And so that's why uh, b- the gray at both ends of the day has been excellent on the flat falls and, okay. and various things like that. And that way we, we might have, you know, if we're lucky, eight or ten of those monsters going yeah, at one right, time, exactly. which is nuts. And, and then later in the day we'll be looking for breezers or sonar marks or something like that where we can drift with the baits as well as the flat falls. And be catching more fish for more people. That's the yeah. biggest difference of the, where we have to okay. kind of think about yeah. that. Yeah. And, and what's your thought on this? I mean, it's here it is, November. We still have it around. You know, how long is it going to last? I don't know. It, seem, it seems like last year there was still uh, bluefin uh, just west of where it is now into December and, and some big ones. You know, this stuff staying around winter after winter after winter is really something because I think we've got to see the same stock of fish grow each year so cool and i mean i don't mean to sound pie in the sky but if it stays around another winter we could have 400 pounders here locally next year because they grow right they grow they eat and grow (laughs) oh boy do they eat (laughs) think about that a 400 pound bluefin locally i mean there was a 360 caught this year who's to say that that there's not yeah i mean i i'm with you i think we're going to see it you know it's 10 percent which is not a you know huge amount of growth for that size fish puts them at 400 pounds yeah there think, you go think about that <laughs> i think about it all day i don't right. stop thinking about it yeah, yeah. mike thanks Great for coming job, down thanks. appreciate that very much now um, Wait, i'll be done so buzz thanks a lot so you'll be on the prowler today hanging out i will be and uh our first seminar is speaking of bluefin is steve carson oh. who is an expert in his own right yeah and and uh, not only can you come down and talk to him and myself and my crew, which is going to be there, All right. uh, you can take a look at the Parkers on the way down because they're right behind the boat. Right next to the boat. All right. And it's, and it's, I just want to say, too, we got some really cool seminars on the Prowler today. So as you mentioned, Steve Carson, that's going to be as soon as the show ends, 9.30 is when the first one kicks off. We'll have Steve Carson on board the Prowler. Then at 12.15, a regular guest on Let's Talk Cookup, Ty Ponder, who is also a Rapala Pro staff. He's going to be doing a really cool seminar on the on the Prowler talking all about hard bait. So it'll be, you know, Rapala's for yellowtail, for calico bass, for spotted bay bass. So just techniques using hard baits, which has been probably the, one of the more popular, you know, growing fields as far as bass fishing and other things goes. And then the last one at 145, we have Joe LaMonaco, and Joe owns J-Lo Custom Rods. And this is one that I really wanted to see. It'll be a different one. Joe is going to go over everything about rod 
both maintenance, building. Sure, he's a, an expert custom rod builder, but a lot of cool things that we could all use. Uh, how to reinstall cork tape if your cork tape grip's getting a little bit messed up. How to reinstall a guide. How to reinstall a tip. So he's going to be doing everything that's kind of rod maintenance, rod building, and things like that. That's all on the prowler. All on the prowler, yeah. Wow. Okay, Buzz, you got a busy day. We'd we better let you go. We've got quite a day. Thanks for uh, yeah. chatting with you guys. And all right. I'm going to go down there and Thanks get things all fired down. up. Appreciate and that. And last, last thing when Buzz leaves. Don so graciously donated a day and a half trip to go fishing nice. on board the Prowler to that raffle today. for the Rollo Kids raffle. Yes, that's yeah. awesome, buddy. Thank you very so, much, buddy. All right, and that doesn't expire this year. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so anyway, have a good show, guys. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Buzz. Bye. And, and Kevin, um, if, uh, if if somebody wants to come tour the Parkers, talk to you about buying a Parker special incentives right now, you're going to be here all day, right? I'm, I'm going to be here all day. I'll probably be running the booth up here on the top. Um, the one, the, the boat, the, the beautiful boat that's sitting on the trailer yeah, in the, the lot. parking lot. Yeah. yeah, and I'll be back and forth, but okay. I'll be here all day. But just ask for Kevin, come by, yeah. chat with him yeah. about the possibility, and uh, look for Lucy because she'll yeah, be I right got there the black, next year. I got the black lab Lucy, yeah. so you can always find me. Yeah, you'll be right there. And yeah. uh, thanks for thanks, bringing all Kevin. those boats yeah. down. And uh, really, you uh, you do a great job outfitting Southern California anglers. Oh, it's so much fun. Yeah, it's just <laughs> really fun. Yeah, and you know the new power. The, the new Yamaha Power, oh yeah, it, it's unreal. Yeah, that new 250, 300, the new 300 is just off the and, charts. Amazing. And right now, uh, till November 21st, the uh, six-year warranty. That's right. Three-year extended warranty from Yamaha. So, it, a great time to buy a new boat with a new motor. Right. Ask Brandon Hayward about exactly. repowering your 250. 2320 with a 300 and how oh. much fuel you save and how much speed you gain. He is just totally sold on the 300. Yeah. Now, the 250s and the 300s the same engine, basically. Exactly. It's just how they meter the fuel. Yeah. But for some reason, this new, this 300 made it to the 2320 is just the it's right perfect. combination. It's the perfect yeah. combo. It's the perfect combo. Yeah. And his fuel economy, he's getting another, you know, Half a mile the gallon uh, you yeah. know, distance. Um, he, he's just totally happy with the new one. Yeah, and and, it, and like you say, right now Yamaha has a special. If you want to repower your engines, uh, you want to get yeah. something more efficient with more power for your 2320 or whatever. Talk yeah. to Kevin about repowering with yeah. the new Yamaha. I can I can help him out and get him in touch with the right people at and, our shop. And the yeah. beauty with that is that motor is in such high demand. If you have a 23 that's got a you know 200 or 250 on it that's you know in relative shape, that motor itself has a lot of value. Oh, absolutely. You're going to get a lot of that covered on your own and have a brand new motor that you don't even have to think about for the next 10 with years. With a exactly. six-year warranty. With a six-year warranty. Yeah. So wow. cool. All right. Thanks, yeah. Kevin, for and coming so, down. And so much so that Brendan bought two boats this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Thanks All right. for coming, Kevin. Hey, when we okay. come back, we got a lot of Let's Talk hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls, more great information. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. This is Captain Art Taylor of Searcher Sport Fishing. Come join our season crew led by Captain Aaron, Remy, and me on a fishing adventure to remember. Our 2018 schedule is available now with multi-day trips to fit your budget. The Searcher has remodeled cabins, an RSW system to preserve your catch, and great meals prepared by our chefs. Don't wait. Book your adventure online now at searchersportfishing.com or call Celia at 619-226-2403. That's six. 619-226-2403. Visit searchersportfishing.com. Saturday, November 4th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. It's our largest sale ever. Plenty of seminars by saltwater experts, incredible deals on tackle, closeouts we've never offered before. Plus, over 20 tackle manufacturers' representatives like Shimano, with great reels like Talica, Tranks, Trinidad A, and Twin Power. We also have a great selection of the new Terramar rods by Shimano. Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing will have unbelievable pricing on tackle, clothing, and accessories. There is also a huge raffle best ever tackle bargains at tackle day at fisherman's landing saturday november 4th he's not just my fishing buddy after 30 years he's a brother and i'd sure hate to lose him his bass boat's got nothing to do with it so i make sure both of us wear a life jacket save the ones you love even if they don't own a fancy boat a message from california state parks division of boating and waterways this is pete gray to tell you about one of my favorite places to fish in the world it's whaler's cove lodge in angoon alaska for several years now we've been hosting groups at whaler's Cove, and this is certainly one trip I do not miss. Each year, the Powers family makes great improvements.
improvements to the lodge that make this great lodge even better. New rooms, new boats, new fish processing facilities, new outdoor kitchen. The list goes on and on. As for fishing, the calm waters around Whaler's Cove are 100 miles from any large town, so you will enjoy wilderness adventure without the crowds. Whaler's Cove Lodge has some of the best salt and freshwater fishing in Alaska, and there's no need for a bumpy boat ride for hours. You can find productive fishing for salmon, halibut, and rockfish just 10 minutes from the lodge. Here's the deal. The word is out on Whaler's Cove, so you want to go? Book soon. WhalersCoveLodge.com or call 800-423-3123. WhalersCoveLodge.com for the Alaska fishing experience of a lifetime. It's time to get excited about fishing and Point Loma Sport Fishing has everything you'll need. They offer half day and three quarter day trips daily, perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi day trips targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit their website at pointlomasportfishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available or call 619 223 1627. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the mighty 1090. We're live here at Tackle Days at Fisherman's Landing. As Pete said, the thing opens at 9, but it is it is open and on yeah, and is. happening right now. Yeah, the tape is, I mean, there's so many deals. There's guys lining up ready to grab some great deals there at 9 o'clock when the tape comes down outside. But if you want to buy, you want to talk to tackle representatives, it's on right now. And we're not an hour away, over an hour away from uh, from the, the actual opening. Bart Hall is here. Bart, step up to that mic and tell us what the what the heck are you doing? You're giving away tickets this morning is what I understand. Is that is that true? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Bart? Yeah, we're giving, good morning, Rick. How are you? Great. Wow, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Is, is How do you remember morning? all this stuff? <laughs> busy morning. Good morning. Because we've morning. been going to Fred Hall shows for a long time, so we, we, we learned the right way to do it. Um, so if you're buying uh, at 8 o'clock, down five minutes, they're going to start telling, selling uh, friends, uh, Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea or Friends of Rollo's yep. uh, ticket, raffle tickets. And then when you do that, Come, on, come over here and see me in the first 20. You're going to get to go get a free ticket to either Long Beach or Del Mar or Bakersfield, the show of your choice. And you just see me. I'll put it down on a piece of paper, and hopefully I won't lose it. Put you on a list? Yeah, a yeah. list. Yeah. All right. Just very a, good. Very personal. Yeah. And then we're giving away two tickets today to the Fred Hall Show to one of your callers Okay. Oh. that you choose. And then we're going to give two tickets away Someone who stepped up to the mic. Okay, well, that's awesome. That into there. Okay, yeah. and then we just see Bart, and we'll put you on the see list. See Bart, but yeah, there all right, you go. very good. And so, if you buy a Cat Morales Kids at Sea, uh, pick a box, whether it be the yeah. twenty dollars box or the five hundred dollars box. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You uh, come see Bart after you buy that. Show the proof. There you go. And then you get the first twenty. Yeah, it's a little bonus. Yeah, that's a nice. That's bonus. awesome, Bart. Very okay. nice. All okay. right. Thanks for being here. At Tackle Day. <laughs> Doug Kern. Hey. Good morning. <laughs> hey. Busy morning. Bill Cavanaugh's <laughs> oh, here too. Captain I, Bill. I've just good been morning. sitting morning. in the in the chair, drinking a cup of hot tea, just enjoying <laughs> the sunrise. It's not busy at all yeah, down here. Oh, <laughs> it's been a hectic morning. So tell us, Doug, your take on this whole morning here. First of all, good job with the weather. Yeah, nice yep. job, dude. Yeah. You know, I had to pull an emergency audible and call the weatherman. It was looking yeah. a little dire last mm-hmm. week. But uh, 14th annual, a beautiful day down here. I'm so appreciative of our seminar speakers, Bill Cavanaugh sitting right next to me here. Uh, just amazing that uh, everybody comes out and helps us out with this event. Uh, we've got 27 vendors in the lot, and uh, they're all working hard. Got up, you know, 3 in the morning to come down and be here. The deals they gave us this year are unbelievable, and uh, so it's going to be a great day. We've got a, a, the long, uh, you know, the surface iron casting contest down on the dock. That's a new, it's yeah. going to be okay, a great so event. Okay, so tell us about that. How's that going to work? Uh-huh. Oh, Bill oh. says, oh, Already Bill some says it's talking. on. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. All right. As, as long as it's on a new old 332 and straight mono. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's yeah, buddy. not going to happen. You know, it is, it's a true surface iron rod, straight mono, but uh, we, we picked the tranks. Uh, um, Tranks 500? The 500 level okay. winds. So in a casting contest especially, it's going to level wind your line for you, so there's going to be way less backlashes. You're able to put three brakes on out of six, and uh, 
It allows you to, you know, kind of let go with your thumb a little bit and let her bomb. Uh, Nine-foot Terramar rods, jig sticks, and uh, Sweet. you step up to the plate. You get one practice cast. You get two casts that qualify. Longest cast of the day is going to walk out with one of those 500 HGs. Uh, Which is a $500, $500 reel. $500 reel. Those are great reels, by the way. They are. Oh, for, yeah. You know, kind of wondered about a bass reel being a legit saltwater reel. There's no doubt now. They cast yeah. unbelievable um, there have been 200-pound bluefin caught on them, which should, should never have happened. <laughs> and I don't, I don't recommend that, but it's happened. It can happen. Yep. But it has, and it will continue to happen. Right. And then, you know, you get a Terramar rod for second place and a six-pack of uh, surface irons for third place. We've got chairs set up on the lane there so people can heckle and have fun watching the, the casting contest go down. That's so, awesome. Yep. It's and gonna the be, cost? Uh, the cost is absolutely free. You get one round free. If you do want to do multiple rounds, we're going to allow that, but you got to make a $10 donation to Rollo over there. Um, you can cast as many times as you want. You pay your $10. You, you know, go two, three, four times. Yeah, but if, you're, if you're a pro like Bill Cavanaugh, well, you, you can step up, one time. step up to the plate totally yeah, free, make a bomber, and win a $500 reel. I wanted to go a heads up with you, Rick. I'm in. Oh. I'm, in. I'm in. No problem. <laughs> I, I know who I'm going to put my money on. I'm not going to say. Yeah. But... Uh, and That's going to be a good contest. Yeah, fun. And it's just for grins, how? what is the longest cast that in practice sessions that you think we achieved? I mean, truly, Did you truly. make the uh, Lil Press the Office? Well, we didn't. We, didn't <laughs> we had two casts in practice that, had they not gone hung up, we might have owed Frank a new office. <laughs> That's window. right. So I, I think the farthest that we recorded with our range finder is like, a hundred yard ish, you know what I mean? Like yes. we had a couple that were that were so far that we weren't planning on them, but I mean, pretty regular. Pre- the pretty regular most bomber distances were in that high 80s to low 90s, yep. and, and for sure a couple that that went so far we weren't ready for them. When we were trying to kind of dial in where we needed to put people and where we needed to be ready to measure that, yep. were, that were definitely flirting with the, that true hundred yard mark. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is a rad. It's going to be a really, really fun thing, and it and it do, it is a somewhat level playing field. Yes, there are guys that are fantastic casters, but Bill Bill said the exact same thing. Bill Cavanaugh fishes every day of his life, but when he's casting a surface iron, he's you know he's he's casting a hundred J or an old Harnell and a yep. three thirty two. I mean, you know, a guy like that has had that same tool in his hand for years at a time. Everybody's going to step up to the plate and cast with the exact same rod and reel. It's just going to be fun. It's a fun free event that's going to be really cool. It is. And that Watch the window. Uh, Nine thirty, and it'll go until two thirty. Okay. And um, we've got a super ultra low tide, so I just want to mention we made an, an audible on, on one of the rules. You've got to hit the water with the jig. Yes. But at the extreme low tide, if there is mud where the water was and it hits that, we're going to allow that. And I've already <laughs> passed that on to the San Diego Anglers. And thank goodness for them coming down and running the contest for us. Yeah, great. All right. Ben, oh, great. great. Uh, J-Po's, uh, oh. Uh, he wants to bend the rules already. <laughs> <laughs> no bending, right? No bending, no breaking. No bending, no breaking. <laughs> Well, Doug, great day here. Congratulations on yeah. this huge success, a huge crowd here already, ready to go here. And uh, how long is it going to go for today? Um, this goes until 3 o'clock in the parking lot, and uh, we will have three raffles throughout the day, and it will culminate in the grand raffle at 2.30, ending at 3 o'clock. But the store will be open until 6 o'clock tonight. So if, you know, you're, you can't get down here, you've got to work, you've got to go to the soccer game, whatever it is. Those still, deals are still on. Yes, until 6 o'clock tonight, and uh, we close the doors at 6, but... Six in the morning till six at night in the store, in the parking lot. We will be closing down promptly at three o'clock. At three o'clock. Yep. All right. Very good. All right. And of course, right here at Fisherman's Landing. Come on down. It's it's already it, look at around. Look at it's 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 on. It's buzzing. You should see inside the store. You can hardly <laughs> yeah. walk in there. Yeah, I, I saw that. <laughs> poor guys right. are getting mowed. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. All right. Well, thanks, Doug, for coming down. Appreciate that. And Bill, uh, Calvin, I, you just fresh back. We heard from you on the boat yesterday. What a great trip. Yeah, oh, dude. Well, the, what's going on right now on the boat is <laughs> impressive. Like, I'm kind of shocked. Yeah. I, t- I spread the word to Pete, but we didn't make the announcement knowing that you were going to come on. I, so I've, so I've only experienced it. something like that once in my career. And Captain Sam Moore is driving the Intrepid right now on a 10 day trip, and he's doing it, which is pretty on amazing. On a 10 day? On a 10 day. Yeah. Yeah. So but that means. Yeah, give us the scoop. So I'll give you the that scoop. That means the lower banks. Yeah, exactly. So to Sam's on a Larry Brown sponsored ten day on the Intrepid. He's on day number two of fishing where they got the, that fish located. His first day down there, they had four fish over two hundred pounds. Whoa. First day. First first day in that area, oh had four over two. 
Um, and the last one that they put on the boat taped out at 3.07. Oh, my. Woo. So it looks like they have three cows and a super cow for day one. Day two, which would have been yesterday, they surpassed that greatly. They had a total of 10 fish over two, and four of them taped over 300 pounds. Is this shades of, of 2005? It kind of looks that way. Yeah. So the fish that he taped out over three were like 305, 307, 350, and a 371. Oh, my gosh. 371. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And um, and the 200-pounders are like, I think they're mid-twos. So currently he's sitting at 14 cows on a 10-day. He's got another day to fish, possibly a day in the morning. On a 10-day. Oh on a 10-day. Unbelievable. So I'm, go, su- I'm super stoked for him. I, I got in for my first long trip of the season not too long ago, and I was all stoked, chest puffed out. <laughs> Who's the man? 15-day <laughs> trip at the Hurricane Bank, and we were averaging like, 40 to 60 fish a day that were in the 120 to 180 pound class with some cows mixed in and i'm like yes that is so awesome and then i get a call from sam i'm like yeah so if you're on a 10 day here in the next uh week or two or three or four you're stoked yeah you yeah are. well it looks really good yeah. this is there and you was, heard Pat you, earlier from Cabo how successful the Western Outdoor News Tuna. Yeah, you know, I haven't too. been ta- paying too close yeah. attention to that, but that's all kind of related for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think Gordo Banks and maybe even down there, sure. Golden Gate, Jaime, and so it all looks kind of good. Sam's down there with another boat, uh, Brian Evans on the Spirit of Adventure. He's getting in on the same type of action, so it's not just a one-boat thing. Yeah. And uh, I believe the XL's on a 10-day trip, and they're going to be scoping stuff out here in the next few days. So okay. we'll get a better picture. But to have oh, man. five over three on a 10-day right now five. is... In two days. How crazy is it, that, dude? It's just incredible. Yeah. I can't really wrap my brain around it because... Yeah. That's just, never happened Just before. catching a 300-pounder in itself once yeah. is yeah. awesome, but to catch five in two days is yeah. pretty something special. That's an amazing. And, of course, you're going to be on the stage. What time, uh, Ricky? 9.30. Uh, yep, 9.30. 9.30 on yeah. the main stage. Main stage. Right. I'm going to talk about uh, tackle techniques for catching Wahoo and for bigger tuna on long range trips. Sweet. Now we're stoked right. to have you, Bill. Really awesome. great. Thanks, Bill, for the great report, and thanks for giving us the, the reports there and uh, calling in on the show uh, from the Intrepid. That's your new ride, right? That's my new ride. There's two captains driving the Intrepid. It's me and Captain Sam Moore. Okay. And I can't say enough about Sam. He is a really good fisherman. He came up in the ranks like most of us. He was a little grom working on the uh, International Star, catching albacore back in the day. Worked on the Apollo with J.J. Garrison for a few years. Went up to work with Norm Kagawa on the Shogun. He's been with us on the Intrepid now for six years. And he's he's going to do really when good. When I told Doug that story about Sam catching the fish, he got the biggest smile on his face. And he said he'd been selling tackle to Sam's parents since well before Sam was born. He goes, I remember him when he was born, and now he's got five over three on wow. a long-range trip that he's yeah. running. One, one quick question before we let you go. Any truth to the rumor that there may be a sea keeper coming on the Intrepid in the near future? We are definitely looking into it. Ooh, That's cool, wow. buddy. And it's not yeah, just it's a – it's going to be a, uh, a series of three series, of them. Yeah. And oh we've spec'd God. it out. We've talked with uh, – uh, uh, I forget Berkeley. the name of the gentleman. Berkeley, Berkeley Andrews. Yes. Talked with Berkeley, spec'd it all out. Um, if it doesn't happen this year, most likely it will happen within the next couple of years. Oh, this this year our big maintenance project on the Intrepid is we're putting all new machinery. New mains, transmissions, and generators. Wow. So to, to do a sea keeper project on top of that might be a little bit over the top. So <laughs> it is definitely in our future. It may not happen this year. All right. Exciting, Thanks for coming buddy. by, Bill. Appreciate it hey, very much. Hey, thank you so much for having me. Again, right. 930 on the main stage. Captain Bill Cavanaugh, Wahoo, Big Tuna, going to be a great seminar. And when we come back, we got a lot of great stuff coming for you. More deals, more great guests, and more good times. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. This is Chelsea from Dana Landing in Mission Bay. We are truly the one-stop shop for a great day on the water. Looking for a fishing charter? Dana Landing has you covered with the blackjack. Perfect up to four anglers, or the impulse up to six anglers in comfort and style. Dana Landing has a huge tackle shop with everything you need to go fish bay bass, tuna, or marlin, and our staff will dial you in. We even have Mexican and California fishing licenses and reel repair. Our deli at Dana Landing is a local's favorite with all the food, ice, and beverages you need. Hey, need freshwater tackle? Head to East County Bait and Tackle, the ultimate in rods and reels, the latest freshwater lures and live bait. ECBT has a stop second to none when it comes to sharing their passion for fishing. ECBT is at the end of the 67 Freeway on Maple View and Lakeside. And Dana Landing is next to the Dana Launch Ramp in Mission Bay. Check out danalandy.com for more details. 
Fifth Avenue Insurance has a new name. It's Snap Insurance. Still providing anglers and boaters with the best in boat insurance and the lowest rates. The experts at Snap Insurance will make sure your boat and property are covered right. Traveling to Mexico? Snap has you covered. You can even work with your agent to wrap your home and auto with your boat policy to save even more. Call them for advice on your current boat policy or any of your insurance needs. Snap Insurance, 800-527-6617 or snapins.com. That's S-N-A-P-P-I-N-S dot com. Great boats, free parking, and a fully stocked tackle shop. Just a few of the reasons Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top charter boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Eclipse, Apollo, Outer Limits, Pacific Star, El Gato Dos, Alexis, Pride, Privateer, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half, three-quarter, and full-day trips available. Check out the full-service tackle store at Seaforth Sport Fishing. And it's all run by fishermen for fishermen. 1717 Quivera Road, just off Mission Bay Drive in Mission Bay. Book online at seaforthlanding.com. XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. San Diego Sports Leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palma de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palma de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer Resorts have become a destination for travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting Van Warmer Resorts and when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Wormer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. Hi, I'm Hayden Lane from Fast Lane Sailing and Kayaking Center. And I want to tell you about our newest best-selling kayak, the new Hobie I-11S. The thing is an inflatable kayak, but this thing has all the advantages of an inflatable kayak with no sacrifice in performance. It's super wide and it's super stable. It's shaped like a stand-up paddleboard. It just skims across the water, making it one of our fastest kayaks. And it rolls easily back into its bag. That's right, easily. It's so quick and easy to use, it's become my go-to fishing kayak. My mom and dad just threw a couple in the car and drove up to Mammoth Lakes for a few days and caught a whole bunch of trout. This kayak solves so many problems for so many people. No roof racks needed, no storage in the garage, throw it in a closet, throw it in the back of your car. Most importantly, come down and try this new kayak out. You won't believe how well it works. We do demos every day at our shop right on the water in Mission Bay and would be happy to take you out on it. So call the shop at 619-222-0766 to schedule a demo. Or check us out on the web at fastlanekayaking.com. Who's going to be more successful, the guy with a state-of-the-art fish finder and the latest sonar technology, or the guy who wastes time looking for fish the old-fashioned way? Smart fishermen know how to embrace technology, and no one understands technology better than your San Diego County Ford dealer. The new F-150 is the only truck available with Pro Trailer Backup Assist, the most advanced, most efficient way to back a trailer ever. It's just one of many high-tech features you won't find on any other truck. Ford is also the only brand available with EcoBoost, a twin turbocharged engine that offers impressive fuel economy without sacrificing power. In other words, Ford trucks just flat out work smarter. So whether you're on the road or on the water, don't let technology pass you by. Come in now and get a clearance price on a new high-tech 2017 F-Series pickup. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer today, Ford. That's California smart. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. 